It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we'll see Jared Stidham. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Jaguars and the Panthers. And it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 24. With a winter chill gripping much of the nation, no such worries today here in the Sunshine State and Everbank Stadium in Jacksonville. Today, Week 17 is upon us, and we've got a good one in store here as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon on this final day of 2023. New Year's Eve, folks are fine-tuning their resolutions, fitness clubs ready for that January boon. But these two teams have one more important piece of business to take care of before the calendar turns to 2024. And I'll be one of those trying to get it going in January, trying to get my physical fitness on the first. The final two-week stretch of the 2023 regular season, and we are underway week 17 here on this New Year's Eve. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. Leading them out, the fifth-year Auburn alum got his first career starts last season. Here's Jared Stidham. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. The numbers for Mixon last week pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions and those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line getting in is all that matters putting those numbers up on the board and they love them when they're sixes throw is caught by schoolmaker six yards the pick up and that's a first down the Jaguars had a woeful 3-12 and 12 on the year. And whatever promise they had to start the season fully evaporated now as they come in losers of six straight. But you know what they often say, winning breeds winning. But unfortunately, the flip side of that can be true as well because this is a club in desperate need of a spark out of somewhere. A big play on offense, turnover, takeaway on defense. Something to get them pointed in the right direction. They need it quickly. On second down, here's Mixon. And this will be a Jaguars first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Here's Stidham. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Here's Knight on the handoff. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Here's Stidham to throw. Out to the right, he gets it to lock it. And he is going to have the Jags first down as they get five there on third and two. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? The Panther lost too strong. They get there and take him down. Quinnen Williams racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. This offensive line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game just gave up another one right there and tatter so it sounds a little bit like this right now exactly it's like that paper being ripped and right now they've got to find a way to get it back together running left it's Mixon. they get two yards back but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down you look at this carolina defense they played extremely well last week and that went over the Packers. And what I saw on film was nearly an unstoppable pass rush. They had five sacks last week, plenty of hurries. So now do you just max protect that offense, keep everyone in and run, you know, one or two receiver routes to make sure your quarterback stays up? We'll soon find out. So the completion results there in nine yards. 
yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. So here now are the Panthers for their first drive of the game. They'll be led out by a man who took that huge jump everyone had hoped for in year two. One of the game's brightest young stars. And that's Trevor Lawrence. The word is potential, potential, potential. Think about this guy from the time he was in high school. One of the top prospects going to college, coming out of college, mentioned as a generational type quarterback. He looks the part. Tall, big arm, surveys the field. It can take off and run, but under duress. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. On the ground, this is Derek Henry. He's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The numbers on the ground for Henry last week. 24 carries, 95 yards. And while he may not verbalize it, in his mind, going up against this defense, one of the worst rush defenses in the league, he's thinking 200-plus in this game. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. And they get Jack Conklin there, the right tackle. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Again, it's Henry. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? So, CD, this defense, they know that they have to be at their very best when they're taking on a team here that's in the midst of a winning streak that's now stretched over multiple months, not weeks, months. I think the challenge they put upon themselves is we want to be the guys to end that streak. And what's working in their favor, the winning streak on the other side. Sometimes that carries a burden with it because they feel like they have to play perfectly as well. Let's just go out there and get them is the idea. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. The false start backs him up five. First and 15. After the penalty, it's Henry. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Second and 10. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Drew Sanders brings him down, and that's a play he's going to remember. The first sack of his NFL career. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. And the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. Lawrence. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. The Brandon had a pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Had to get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tough rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Returnable for Lockett. A nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. You know, Charles, season winding down, time to maybe look ahead to the offseason. What do you see these guys going after either in the draft or free agency? Well, with the season that they're having, just about every position is up for grabs right now. No one is really safe, but the focal point's always the quarterback position. And he may be auditioning to try and stay with his own current team. I think he's auditioning for the rest of the league to try and find a spot because I think this team is looking for a new quarterback. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Now it's Stidham. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find 
some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. They go play action with Stidham. That's complete to Troutman right side. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. That's on Teron Armstead, the left tackle. Play action. It's Stidham. And this one is incomplete. You look at this Carolina defense. And this unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. And this unit knows exactly where they rank. They're number two against the pass in the NFL. You know they have their sights set on being number one. Looking for it. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Jordan Phillips drops him for a loss of 10. And it's going to be fourth and long. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Forty-seven yard punt, a return of four. And the Panthers will have a first and ten from deep in their own territory. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Credit the tackle for loss to Harold Landry. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Someone moved, flag is out, that's going to be five yards. And that will drive coaches crazy. You work all week on dealing with loud crowds, on dealing with motion, and then you have a guy jump. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. From the shotgun, Lawrence. That ball caught, it's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of ten. Now third down and seven. Lawrence will throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And CD, defensively, you're going against a hot quarterback coming off a three-touchdown game in their victory a week ago. But what's the big key for them to try to slow him down? You ask all the tough questions, don't you, partner? Because with this guy, if you blitz him, he takes advantage of that man coverage and burns you. But if you bring on those extra DBs, he sits back there and does what he wants. To me, it's going to be those DBs. When they catch the ball, big-time tackles really put it on those receivers. A snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. No score after one on EA Sports. Panther football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Lawrence on third down. And incomplete on the deal. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Now it's Lockett. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set here. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. But you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes? 
eyes when you watch something like this, right? With these teams are locked in and going at it. No points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. Now Stidham off play action. On the move to Stidham. Hit, and he lost it. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. So he went out of the pocket left, and then things got dicey. And what often happens is when they get outside, they want to keep their eyes downfield in order to try and complete a pass. But when they try to make a play, they've got to get their footwork involved. And that can really mess them up as well. And in this case, nothing went right, and the ball got knocked free. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. Following the fumble recovery, Lawrence. Over the middle complete, that's Barnes. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Lawrence now to throw after that last run. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Andrews. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Here's second and two now from the three. Now Lawrence to throw. Touchdown! Mark Andrews, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and Jason score a touchdown. Myers. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. It's caught. Lock it. Only able to gain a couple there. And now we've got a third down and three. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. And he's going to have a chance first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. Pitching to Mixon. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 49 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. How many times do we say in this game a speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you get a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Four. 
It's Mixon on the counter. There's a nice move. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. This is Knight. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now Stidham on second down. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Quinn and Williams. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Charles, not to point fingers, but how much of this goes on the shoulders of the offensive line? Well, look at the six sacks last week. That's the fourth in this game. Definitely the bulk of it does go on the offensive line. That's what they're tasked with doing, keeping their quarterback upright and clean in the pocket. But I think they have to look at, okay, are we bringing in extra people? Is the ball out of the quarterback's hands quick enough? There are a few other factors that they have to look at to try and help out. You're exactly right. It starts with the O line. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 12 yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. The tight end in motion right. Mixon with a first down carry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Back to Mixon on second down. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Stidham. Got his man. It's Touchdown, Jaguars. Adam Trapner, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from evening this one up. That's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, yeah, I give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Oh, some strong running. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because... They just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now, they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And that's on the guard, Wyatt Teller. Jags get to him as down he goes. Trent McDuffie collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three. The Panthers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Looking to throw Lawrence. Into double coverage and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. So the interception there, and Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched the playoff spot, but they know. Looking ahead, 
When they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football because turnovers in that situation, they really become magnified. After the interception, here's Stidham. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. A draw play for Mixon. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. To throw is Stidham. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Hines now on the return. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and ten. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Man open. That's Debo Samuel. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 19 yards that time for number 19. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun. It's Lawrence. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. He's got it complete. Derrick Henry. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks have told us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Joe Mixon and the rest of his offense making their way back onto the field. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it, because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. And yeah, he'll be corralled right around the 34. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. So we've reached halftime here on New Year's Eve. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half. 
And I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Naheem Hines now out of his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. And the Panthers going to take over here to start quarter number three. And this offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it and try and win this ball game. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Running from the gun with Henry. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They're going to run with Taysom Hill. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. A first down carry for Henry. And he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. From the 46, here's second and four. Now Lawrence. Able to locate Andrews here on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. Henry up the middle. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 46 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Henry's got it out on the left side. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Now second and five. Here's Lawrence to throw. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 14. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. Fights. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Derrick Henry with his ninth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Panthers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now it's Stidham. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Reek Woolen. And he will bring this one back. 
Look, it's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. I think that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders got to add to the lead directly. Now Myers for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Second and six, just inside the 30. Stidham now off the bootleg. Throw out wide is incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. On third down, Mixon. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this returnable for Hines, powering his way forward. Touchdown, Carolina! Such an impressive punt return, 83 yards. And the Panthers get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. When you've got a guy that fast back there to receive punts, that's a nightmare for the guy game planning, the special teams coach, but it's also a nightmare for the punter. Sometimes they get so nervous that they miss hit the ball and kick it right to him. The extra point now coming from Myers. And the lead is now 24. Well, we know he has home run hitting ability in the punt return department, and he showcases it there all the way back for six. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And the Jacksonville offense on their way out again as we take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. Well, including this week, three weeks remain in the regular season, Charles. And it is going to be interesting to see how this playoff picture sorts itself out before we head into the postseason. Competitive, entertaining postseason. That's what we're always striving for. But I think we get it during the regular season, too, because you never know how things are going to go during the final weeks of the season. Every team pulled out all the stops to get a better seed or just to get one of those seven seats at the table. 97 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quit in this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. On first and 10, it's Stidham. They'll set up the screen here to Mixon. 
No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. This one thrown deep for Schoonmaker. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot it. It's incomplete. Well, that's kind of how it's gone for him so far. That was a ball they need to get back in this game. A quick strike, a big play. But he let his guy too far, and it winds up over his head. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. So he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, They've got to do something to slow down their runners. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally, I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yeah. I've got to slow down the running game. I was game. just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. From the 22, here's second and eight. Now Lawrence. That quick pass here to Godwin. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards that time for number 14. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Inside handoff, Henry. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 38-yard line, second and nine. Lawrence. And this will be incomplete. This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. On third down, Lawrence. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Now we throw here to his running back. We'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here's Lawrence. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 24-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. On first down, Lawrence. And his throw here is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Second and ten. Here's Lawrence again. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. 
So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. Now a handoff to Henry. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. 70 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive has eaten up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. False start. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Lawrence will throw. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. A gain of seven, it's second and eight at the nine-yard line. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. The Panthers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and eight. Now Lawrence to throw. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Trent McDuffie able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Out is Myers for the Seahawk field goal. He hit his first, this one from 38. Myers' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but. They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know. If you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. Now Stidham on first down. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. He'll be dropped at the 30. The first broken tackle couldn't bust him free. And they'll come up second and seven. Brings up second and seven at the 30-yard line. On the delay, it's Mixon. Yeah, he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. And the Jaguars send out their punter as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fielded at the 20. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And it will be the Panthers' ball first and 10. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot of a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I we, both we, enjoy. We share we, that. We enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but <laughs> in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year, we've seen a bunch of great ones. And it's going to be hard to parse who's going to win the MVP. Yeah, it really is. Is it going to be a runner? Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we could probably discuss. And collectively, this is about as dominant of a performance as you could have hoped for on both sides of the football. Might have to put in number one for what we've seen this season. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. A short throw caught by Andrews. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From just shy of midfield, here's second and a yard. Out 
out of the gun. They give to Edwards. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see on the spot of right in midfield at the 50. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. He'll take this to the 46. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score now that time, the tackle by Malik Hooker. Here's second and ten. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full ten yards on third down. A give for Edwards running right. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Myers' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So he remains perfect, three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Jaguars again ready to take over on offense. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side of this one. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Still Stay alert, tennis. don't jump early, and give them free yardage. A boost here to start the drive. After the penalty, it's first and five. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. From the 33, here's second down and one. To throw is Stidham. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And he'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And the Jaguars first down. First and 10 at the 44 yard line. On first down, Stidham. And that's too tall for his receiver. It's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up, and he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. That's good for Jacksonville. First and ten. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. From midfield now, here's Stidham. 
No, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. From the gun, it's Stidham. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. This goes out wide for Mixon. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Holding offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. Good strength, but not able to get a whole lot. Tackled shy of the 10. Tyreek Stevenson in on the stop. Again, it's Henry. And just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On third down, here's Edwards. And he'll be stopped short of the first down right around the 18-yard line. He gets a good chunk of yards there, eight all told, but they're still looking at a fourth down. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for the Panthers, they move to a sparkling 15-1 with one game still to go in the regular season. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Jacksonville.